Many homeowners out there might be wondering about how they can take care of their house. It gets to be a little daunting sometimes and we need a little bit of help. We're going to learn a little bit about how New Heights Madison may be able to help you, how this company has grown, and a little bit about the owner. We're joined by Tyler Whiting with New Heights Madison. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to learn a little bit about your background and how you got into this business and what all you do. I want to start though with just talking about what you offer at New Heights. Um, well, New Heights, uh, we, we kind of got into business working with uh, real estate agents um, and property managers. Um, and over the past two years that we've been in business, we have kind of expanded, we've grown. Um, right now, we primarily focus on kitchens and bathrooms is sort of our passion. Um, basement remodels, additions. Um, and, and right now, just helping homeowners get their, their house you know where they want it you know there's there's so much in the market with buying and selling um, homeowners you know getting into a house and obviously wanting to make it their own um, and you know we like to come in and offer suggestions how we can help make it their own and make it more comfortable and and their their environment yeah, a couple things that you've touched on there. One is there's just so much to do, right? To, to get it, the home how you really want it to be and, and keep everything functioning properly. The other thing that I like about your discussion is how you're able to make suggestions that could make your home more livable, more functional, less cluttered or, or easier to walk around. So those are important things because we don't always have the eye for that ourselves mm -hmm. as homeowners. To have somebody that's in the industry be able to make some of those suggestions I think is really valuable. I want to touch a little bit more on how you got started in this business. So you have expanded now to be doing some remodels and things of that nature, but you really started more on the helping homeowners who may be buying or selling or working with realtors. Expand a little bit about that, how you got started. Yeah, so we, uh, you know, over the years, um, I, I basically got into this doing kitchens, um, building custom cabinetry, and I, I recently moved back to Wisconsin three years ago. Um, I've been gone in the military, and uh, once I got back, I just, I kind of decided, you know, I'm gonna get away from a desk job, and I'm gonna go off on my own, and so, uh, we, we kind of started, I got connected with real estate agents, and, and sort of helping homeowners get houses bought and sold and just expanded from there. Yeah, and you know, the interesting connection there is you, you spent some time in the Marine Corps and mm -hmm. of course that being a very physical uh, type work, right? So sitting at a desk job might feel very disconnected after your time there. I'd love to learn a little bit more in our couple minutes we have left about your service and about your time there. Can you tell us a little bit about what that was like? Well, I left Wisconsin in uh, 2003 for the Marine Corps, uh, deployed in 04 and 05. Um, ended up, I had three kids, um, got out of the, the Marine Corps, went and got a college degree in criminal justice, another one in Homeland Security, and now I'm swinging a hammer, and, <laughs> and I love it. So, yeah. But along the way, you know, the, the military college, it's all helped me become more disciplined, and I think without you know, those those steps along the way, I probably wouldn't be where I'm at and, you know, have the business I do. Well, first of all, thank you for your service. And second of all, I think it's important when you're working with somebody in your home to know a little bit about their path, get to know them a little bit because you're going to be working probably pretty closely with them on projects and communication. Uh, we're going to head to break here in just a minute, but for viewers who are at home who might be thinking, hey, I need a little bit of help with home maintenance, I may need some help with expansions or ideas, mm -hmm. tell us about what that first step might look like, how to get in touch with you and how they get started. Well, uh, I, I get a lot of word of mouth, so you know, people will refer me and then I get either a text or a phone call, but for viewers right now, if they just go to New Heights Madison, um, there is a request button on there, so you can request assistance, um, you know, or, and then just put down, you know, a general description of what you're looking to have done, kind of a time frame, uh, good appointment times, and a, co a contact number, and then we do our best, you know, to get back to the homeowner, set up an appointment, get out there and take a look at it, make suggestions, you know, discuss materials and, and different options, and then 
you know, try to get something on the calendar. There we go. So lots of, uh, of course, preliminary steps to get make sure that the planning process is in place. Mm. Things are how they want them. A lot of folks doing probably some expansion projects as we are at our homes more, sometimes doing virtual work, mm -hmm. virtual learning, and we want to make sure our space is right. So thanks for sharing a little bit about your journey sure. and how you can help our viewers, Tyler. Nice no meeting you. Nice meeting you. Thanks. We'll be back with more after the break. We hope you stick around.